WFSB Channel 3. Now, Eyewitness News Nightbeat. Experts at Yale New Haven Hospital back Woody Allen's claims that he did not sexually abuse his adopted daughter, Dylan. Good evening. The filmmaker says the report out today supports what he said all along, that he did not molest his adopted daughter, Dylan. Allen also says the report recommends that Mia Farrow seek psychiatric help. Channel 3's Dennis House was on hand for this latest but not the last chapter in the Woody and Mia saga. They showed up within minutes of each other. The accuser in a white limo, the accused in a black one. The former lovers, along with a throng of reporters, were at Yale New Haven Hospital to find out if child sexual abuse experts believed Farrow's claim that Allen molested their seven-year-old adopted daughter, Dylan. The conclusion is that no molestation, no sexual, sexual abuse ever took place, and there is a strong recommendation that Mia herself seek psychiatric help. The Yale group, which spent months investigating the allegations as part of a state police inquest, refused to comment on the report. But Allen says the report found that Dylan had not been molested, even though she told doctors her father had sexually abused her. And according to Allen, Dylan may have been programmed to tell the sordid tales of abuse. It was either a an imagined thing or a concocted thing. It all began last summer when Farrow accused her companion of 12 years of molesting Dylan at the actress's Bridgewater home. The allegations came after Allen admitted to having an affair with Farrow's daughter, Sunyi Previn, whom she adopted with former husband Andre Previn. The story made headlines around the and world. Woody publicly denied the charges while Mia avoided the media. And she uttered only 13 words after the Yale report was released. Um, I, I just want to say that, um, that I will always stand by my children. So. Farrow's lawyer, who once said the Yale team was the best, the criticized the report. The Yale group, comprised of two social workers and a pediatrician, ha has issued a report which is incomplete and inaccurate. Alter claims an eyewitness to the alleged abuse was never interviewed, which would support the Yale videotape of Dylan talking about the incident. But Yale reportedly concluded the tape had been doctored. The former couple and co-stars left New Haven appearing a bit tired after their closed-door meeting, a face-to-face -face that Alan says was unemotional. No, there was no crying. She wasn't crying and I wasn't crying. No, it was very uneventful. You'd be very bored. The Woody and Mia saga isn't over by any means. Alan says he will now sue for custody of the couple's three children, Dylan, Satchel, and Moses. And it still remains to be seen whether the Yale New Haven report will be enough to persuade police, both here in Connecticut and in New York, to drop their criminal investigations. On the Nightbeater New Haven, I'm Dennis House, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.